Hello, my name is Jody Wilmus. I am product manager for Thermwood's Cut Ready product line. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to add a cabinet to a job, define the materials, and process that job. Today, we will demonstrate how Cut Ready guides you through the cutting process. So picking up where we left off, once the job processing is completed, you're at the start screen. Here we have the, uh, the job name. We have the sheets of material required for the job, which you can start with any one that you want. In this case, we'll start with the half inch material, which you can also print off your material list as well. Uh, we give a job time. Estimated time for this job is about nine minutes and 56 seconds. And of course, we've got our directions. So press start to begin. Now I can press one of the green buttons on the front of the machine, or I can use my remote. Uh, the remote has several purposes. Uh, start, stop, pause the machine. Um, if you break a tool, it helps you, you know, you just press a button, the machine will stop. Uh, if you flip the sheet over and you realize you've got a bad sheet, you can restart that sheet as well. So there, there's several things that this, uh, this little remote can help you with. So to begin, uh, it's telling us to press start. So I can press start on my thing or I can just hit start on my remote. The pins are gonna fire up. It's telling me to load material, the half inch material with the B side up. So I'll go ahead and do that. So using my vacuum pod, I grab the material, slide it onto the table. And one thing to keep in mind is uh, what we have here is air assist. Uh, it's blowing air up through the tabletop, creating a pillow of air, much like an air hockey table. Just uh, get, gives you that little extra uh, help on sliding the material around. So we'll locate this into the, into the pins. Once I hit all three pins, the vacuum's gonna turn on, the pins are gonna move out of my way. Now at this point, I think we're ready to cut. So the screen should be telling me to press two to begin. So I'll hit both buttons. And now Cut Ready is gonna select one of the 12 tools uh, to begin cutting. Now some parts need to be machined from both sides, both sides of the material. Uh, traditional machines, typically, uh, you would have to flip each individual piece after it was cut out. Uh, this results in um, uh, bad parts. Maybe the part, part ends up moving. It doesn't have enough vacuum to hold the part down. Uh, user error. What Cut Ready does is we do all the back machining first, and then we'll put notches in the side of the material. So when we flip the sheet over, those line up with the pins. So here it's cutting our notches. Okay, so cut ready is done with the back side of the, of the material. Um, now it's time to flip. So once again, using my pod, I'm gonna slide the material into the clamp. I'm gonna walk around the front, turn a lever, and this whole sheet's gonna flip over for me. And by the way, if I have any uh, dust or debris, I can always use my air wand, blow the table off, and then continue. It's time to pull the uh, time to pull the sheet out of the clamp. Now, instead of walking all the way to the front to hit start, I just hit one of my buttons, and the pins will pop up. I will then locate. Once again, vacuum turns on, pins move out of the way, and we are ready to start cutting again, pressing both buttons.
Now, while this is cutting, uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you our run screen. So, starting from the top, you, once again, you have your job name. You have the sheet number that you're on. You have the current sheet time that is currently on, along with the entire job time. You also have a huge progress bar here. So at any time, if I'm away from the machine, maybe I'm edge banding apart, uh, I can just look back and it gives you an idea when you need to come back, either to flip the sheet or maybe to apply labels. You have the item that you're working on. You have the part name. You also have three icons down here. Uh, the first one shows you a nest diagram of what's being cut. The second one, Tool Life, tells you how much life is left for the current tool. Now that green circle will turn yellow and red as the tool starts to wear out. The, uh, the wrench with the red circle indicates there is maintenance that needs to happen. So we'll press that, tells you what items to do. Also, our little mascot, Artie, he's going to nag you until you uh, complete those maintenance items as well. Now we do have a pause button down here. Um, so during your manufacturing process, you're, it's inevitable you're gonna have things happen. Whether it's a piece of scrap that pops up off the table, uh, maybe you broke a tool or you flipped the sheet and you realize that, uh, okay, I've got a bad sheet, I need to start it over. If that ever happens, you just hit one of the remotes on your, or one of the buttons on your remote and, uh, and cut rate is gonna ask you what happened. So we're in the middle of a cut right now. So if I hit my button, the spindle's gonna shut off. Cut Ready wants to know what happened. So if I got a piece of scrap, I can remove it. I can hit it's okay, let's resume. Spindle will fire up and it'll com continue cutting. Uh, the second button is if you wanna start the whole sheet over again. And the last two are if you broke the current tool or maybe you didn't get over here fast enough and it did a tool change. Uh, maybe you broke the last tool. Uh, so so let's let's simulate a broken tool at this point. So if you press, okay, I broke the I broke the current tool. Cut ready is going to drop the tool off in the drop off location. That's the one with the big yellow sticker on it. Now at this time, I can remove the tool holder. I can replace the tool. The tools have etchings on them to tell you not only the tool number but how far up to chuck the tool into the collet. And we also provide you with a torque wrench so you don't under tighten or over tighten the tool. So when, once you've swapped the tool out, you place the tool back into the drop off location, you press start, and Cut Ready wants to know did you replace it? And if you did, was it because it was broken or worn? So if it's broken, it's just gonna reset the life of the tool. But if you replaced it because it was worn, it's gonna look at the life of that tool and average it in to the last two or three times you did it that way. In this case, we're gonna tell it that it was broken. Press two to start. Now, because we are human, we probably didn't get that tool in there perfectly. Um, and, and there's also a chance we put the wrong tool in as well. So what Cut Ready is gonna do is it's gonna measure the length and the diameter of the tool, and it's gonna double check and make sure we put the right tool in. Now, if we mess something up, it's gonna drop it back off and tell you that you did something wrong. Okay, the tool passed. So now we can ensure that we've removed any broken tool pieces off the table. We press two buttons on the remote and the machine's gonna continue cutting. Uh, now it doesn't know exactly when the tool broke, so it will start from when it initially picked that tool up. Now on traditional machines, I promise you this whole process of breaking a tool, especially in the middle of a 10, 12 sheet job, um, it can, can, can end up being quite cumbersome, uh, especially if you've got to figure out where you left off in a program and hope you didn't miss a critical part of code. Now there are some other things going on in the background uh, that isn't obvious at first. Uh, first of all, Cut Ready is looking at the size of the part. It's determining can it be held down with vacuum sufficiently with one through cut. Uh, if not, if the part's too small, it will take two passes. It will cut almost all the way through, leave a 20,000 skin so it's still attached to everything else, and then it will come back, and unless it's extremely small, it will remove that skin. 
Uh, anytime Cut Ready cuts all the way through the material and etches into the waste board, we also track that area as well because you lose vacuum under those places. So Cut Ready will also uh, factor that in as well. Now if a waste board just gets simply too chewed up uh, with, with a bunch of etchings on it, uh, Cut Ready will automatically want to fly cut or resurface the top of that waste board. And it roughly takes about five thousandths of an inch off every time. So as I was telling you earlier, uh, Cut Ready looks at the size of the part to determine if it's got enough hold down power. Um, these parts are obviously too small. So it, like I said, it's cut almost all the way through the material. It's leaving them attached with a thin skin and then it'll come back through and knock that skin off. Okay, so we're finished cutting the parts out. Uh, you'll notice we have a nest diagram here with numbers on it. Those numbers are gonna coincide with the labels coming out of the front of the machine. So to apply those labels, I can either print this off or I can simply spin the screen around so I can see it when I'm applying the labels. Now the labels themselves have a lot of information on them. Um, for one, they have a barcode. Every label has a barcode on it. Uh, so if you damage a part, let's say uh, you dropped it off when you're heading to the edge bander, you can take that part, walk up to the cut center, scan it with the barcode reader, and Cut Ready will cut just that part. The last label goes on your off all. So we can reuse this piece on our next job. Cut Ready will nest as many parts into it before it moves on to the full sheets. Now the labels themselves, like I said, have the barcode on it. They have the part number, which matches the nest diagram. Uh, we have the part name, the cabinet name, and the job name. We also have a blue square on this one. There's a blue, yellow, green, and red. Uh, we black out three of them. So all parts that have a blue square go together for one job. Red square would be the next job and so forth. So you can, if you get parts mixed up between jobs, you got a way of sorting them out. Um, now, if I've got parts from 10 different cabinets on this sheet, I need a way of sorting those out as well. And that's where at the bottom right of the label, you have a letter combination. So all the parts with DS go together to make one cabinet, AB to make the second cabinet, and so forth. Now these particular parts don't have, or don't require any edge banding, but had they required edge banding, we would show a diagram of the part along with what side or sides get edge banded as well. So these parts are ready for the edge bander and then they're ready for assembly. Now as you can see, a cut ready cut center can be ran by just about anyone. No training required. As a result, your business no longer relies on the health or attendance of one specialized person to run or program your machine. It also means the stress of losing that specialized person to a competitor goes away. My name is Jody and I hope you check out our next video demonstrating how easy cut ready cabinets go together with the help of la labels, assembly marks and so on. I'll see you soon.